Najua tumeona mpaka zingine ma images zina kanikani za church. Unakutanga kuna ile mkono ukaa hivi na kanikani kama iko na rosary na ka cross. Na most of the times hiyo cross inakuanga inverted cross. Hiyo cross ya faith, hiyo cross inakuanga ni the inverted cross inakuanga ni mockery of faith. Na hiyo hiyo beads, hizo beads, hiyo si rosary. Hizo beads zinakuanga ni beads za enchantment. Na hiyo wanga ni system ya witchcraft kwa sababu witchcraft inakuanga ni enchantment. Ni ajwa se mimi naitwa Pastor T. Nashukuru sana kwa hapa for the Sheng Bible study. Ku kuangalia tu vitu fulani ambazo ni swala nyeti, vitu watu wamekuwa kiuliza na hapa inakuaje. Na ni fit kwa busy conversation. Ah, uh, mimi tunapeana view yangu at the end of the day na na consider hii kama personal view. Takwa encourage people piga research yako. Ku criticize no the easiest thing unaweza fanya. We piga research kama na view yako pia. Intellectualism inakuanga ni kuchapiana na piga yako na piga yangu lakini kweni factual iskwani zile vitu una feel ama ni juu labda we ni victim unajaribu ku justify to come to do say many black ni white na hivyo ndio iko so leo nataka kuongelea stories za tattoo na imekuwa ni swala nyeti sana najua tukiangalia kwa community size tattoo ndio imekuwa the in thing na iko kila mahali wasi wanazipiga church wasi wanazipiga kwa world wasi wanazipiga all over kuna mapasi tumeona hata kwa mtandao wako na tattoo kumekuwa na reaction tofauti kuna watu na feel ah haifai kuwa kuna watu wanafeel ah hii kitu hapana na ni fit sometimes kuelewa genesis ya kitu before even hata tuanze ku engage kumbuka si tumezaliwa tu kwa time fulani tuko kwa time fulani kwa event za history so kuna vitu zimekuwa ziki happen time past na sometimes tu kuelewa hii history fit inasaidia anga kujua hiki kilitoka wapi meaning yake ni gani na hizo vitu zote tattoo imekuwa in different forms number one kuna cultural tattoos um culture tofauti zimekuwa zikifanya tattooing na zimekuwa zikifanya for various reasons. So the first thing ni ati kuna the cultural. Sana sana South America, North America, tunaona hata India wapi wapi tunaona tattoo ilikuwa very common thing. Watu walikuwa na katwa alafu unapaka ink and you develop a certain image kwa skin yako. Na and it is very ancient. Yaani imekuwa before miaka za before sana. Kama China ilikuwa anga tattoo inatumika ku brand wezi. Ukiiba mara ya kwanza wanakupiga stripe ya kwanza kiba mara ya pili wanakupiga stripe ya pili ukiba mara ya tatu unapigwa stripe ya tatu na ukiwa na three stripes unaweza madwa any time you saw we wanna kuwa considered as a criminal na mtu amekataa ku change so hiyo ndio ilikuwa ni tattoo pia kuna time days of slavery wase wakibaiwa kama ma slave walikuwa wanapigwa tattoo yani branding kuonesha huu msee ni mse wetu huu msee ana belong kwetu so ilikuwa of course kitu very very uncouth ni kitu siezi imagine umeuzwa place hot iron imeingia kwa mwili yako na umebrandiwa kama slave so hata ukitoka kwa hiyo farm na uende kwa farm ya msee ama uende place nyingine jua kile kitatu kiko kwa mwili yako tunaweza locate jua woli kwa slave wa mtu fulani yani ni, ni vitu very inhumanistic ukianza kufikiria hata kwa bible bible of course inasema nga in the book of leviticus na kwa hiyo leviticus context ya hiyo scripture pale naongeanga kuhusu tattooing inakuanga hizi zilikuwa considered kama pagan practices zilikuwa ni zile vitu watu wajui Mungu ndo alikuwa anazifanya so wakati Moses anapea na sheria alikuja aka rise akaandika against tattoo juu the culture community of the day walikuwa wanapiga matatu na majority of them zilikuwa ni tattoos ambazo zilikuwa connected na worship of their gods kwa sababu culture ya kila generation ilikuwa surrounded upon their religion and the worship of their gods. So wakati walikuwa na ingia Canaan, walikuta wase wako na culture yao, magods wao na system yao ya life. So ideally ilikuwa ni aje mkiingia kwa hii mbogi, mkute hizi vitu wanadu. Nyinyi msizidu, nyinyi ni watu wa Mungu, amfai kuzidu. So na one of them ilikuwa ni kuchora tattoo, yani awase culture yao wako hapa watachora matatu. Lakini nyinyi ni mbogi ya God, hakuna vile mnaweza kwa kama wase wajui God. So you can do these things. Na slowly tattoo pe imekuja imetoka from cultural setting. Hiyo ni kumaanisha community fulani inafanya kitu fulani juu ya understanding fulani. Later imekuja ika evolve ikakuwa ni a form of art. You know mseto anachora kitu uh, just as a way of art celebration. Na pia tu kuchora art. Later ukiingia kwa other communities kama ukienda hapa South Africa, unakuta wase uchora matatu hata majuu as a way ya identify na gang fulani. So sasa hizi labda tunasema si ni mbogi fulani, mbogi ya mtaa fulani. Na ukitaka kujua si ndio wa hiyo mtaa kuna tatu fulani mechoro. Kaka kuna very serious gang. 
inaitangwa 69 na so na choranga tatu kwa shingo so ideally ukipatikana na hiyo tatu ya 69 anyone mwenye ako na hiyo tatu ana identify na gang flani ya mta flani hood flani street flani so hata ukienda jela unakutanga wasee wenye wako kwa jela kama ni wakam 69 ama camp 112 then aound wasee wana identify na wewe na ukienda jela unaingia automatically una identify na wale wasee lakini ukiingia hapo hivyo kwa hizo za magang ilikuwa ni story ya uh, it's more of kuingia kwa blood covenant that i mean this gang by blood stoki hapa nimevaa life yangu soul yangu na kila kitu and so by the time hiyo laser inaingia kwa skin yako na blood na kuwa shed unaingia into a serious covenant that wewe kuingia kwa hiyo gang hauwezi toka na that's how king ya places zingine majuu wapi wapi hata hapa Kenya nimeanza kuona ma gang kama kuna time kulikuwa na story za Gaza na unasikia so wameingia Gaza na ma blood vows na ma covenants ma kuna kuta mtoi kumtoa Gaza ni noma ama kumtoa tu kwa group fulani inakuwa ni noma jua lingia through vows na through covenants na inakuwa ni kama full initiation na kumbuka kuna boy nilikuta akiniambia nilitake vow ya Gaza tukiangalia picha ya vibes cartel wameka picha wameakisha ma candle wameshikilia ma ball wanapiga ma enchantment wakisema anga sisi ni Gaza for life na huni mtu yalikuwa form 2 So nakuta in such cultures wasee walikuwa na eco matatu we kusema mimi wa iki kosi fulani hii ndio gang na identify nayo na kuna vile naweza toka now blanda inakuanga majority of us in africa tuko na kitu inaitangwa importation of culture na pia kuna kitu tunaitanga the aping culture yani ku copy tu we tu utaona kitu ime trend umeichukua umeipaste niki study tu kwa undani nilikuwa naona pia the most place in tattoos like in South America wanasema there are more than 37 million people with tattoos but ukiingia okay, South America na hapo ndo a lot of images zime originate from ukiingia okay, South America unakuta tattoo ziko connected na spiritual system yao these these are not believers they just have us their spirituality ni fit to elewe kuna kuwa believer wa Christ na ku follow God and then kuna dudu ni hata wachawi ni wa spiritual so kuna general spirituality waso ama vudu hizo ni spirituality so mtu tu ako na altar wase wa mayoga na manini all these are spiritualities ni vitu zinakulid kwa vitu spiritual lakini see through the gate of the faith unakuta ni other channels ya ku access spirituality so south america pali ma mexicans wako uh, spirituality ko very high mambo za mavudu na nini and so hao ndio pioneer wa many images za matatu many graphics so utakuta kama zile ma, ma, ma bones unakuta skali mechorwa lakini iko na colors maybe pink purple nini hizo bones zinakuanga connected na death so unakuta kuna kuna spirit na angel wa death so kama mse ame die na ana celebrate ame die na labda ako sawa nimeluzumse ame die na niko sawa kuna skali na choro labda na pink kama mse ame die na ana heart atachora skull na bado maybe inakuwa portrayed na purple so different colors mean different things kwa tattoo industry different images mean different things kwa tattoo industry now this is the mystery like for the south american the mexicans inakuanga ni story ya queen vokio spirit ya death umeluzu mtu ame die umepiga kiskal pali as a memorial no umepiga hizo makala and some of them look very beautiful in terms ya mtu anapenda tu design makala connection na nini but blanda ni moja we do things without understanding na challenge ya kufanya vitu without understanding inakuanga in the realm of the spirit how to cancel possibility ya repercussion juu hauko unajua hata kwa hapa kwa hii realm yenye tunaishi wanasema anga not knowing the law is no defense na not knowing ati kitu ilikuwa spiritual it does not make it not have any impact in your life So kama sasa hizi kuna hizi ma, ma rose flower watu chora the black rose nina kuanga ni rose ya misfortune yani ni kidudu ya bad luck so wewe umeona ki black rose kina kafiti kwa thighs kwa mguu umepiga what you don't know umejiingiza kwa misfortune because that thing the meaning there ni misfortune na umekuja umepiga najua tumeona mpaka zingine ma images zinakanikani za church unakutanga kuna ile mkono ka hivi na inakani kama iko na rosary na ka cross na most of the times hiyo cross inakuanga inverted cross hiyo cross ya faith hiyo cross inakuanga ni the inverted cross inakuanga ni mockery of faith na hiyo hiyo beads hizo beads hiyo si rosary hizo beads zinakuanga ni beads za enchantment na hiyo wanga ni system ya witchcraft 
kwa sababu witchcraft inakuangania enchantment mchawi anaweza kuambia ni aje buda unataka pastor tia si succeed sawa and usimame uchi nje ya balcony sasa zile kuna full moon na uangalie full moon na u face north east na uki face north east useme mr tia uta succeed 50 times so kwa hapo umesimama uchi uki face ki, ki moon asema mr tia uta succeed uta succeed uta succeed so ndo wo keep count 50 times una need beads So utakuwa unapiga kwanza Mr. Tutu uta succeed, uta succeed, uta succeed, uta succeed. So ideally is when enchantments even the witchcraft to operate. So hii haka kitu watu uchora haka sijui na kamsalaba. It has nothing to do with our faith. Ni na unataka mtu ameandika hapo faith, but it's not faith in Christ. So unakuta kuna a lot of deception and a lot of justification. Na utakuta ni popular culture. Jukasa hizi so popular, it looks like a cool thing and and all that. Tutakam kwa hizo zingine, but all I'm trying to say ni ati kuna genesis. Hizi vitu They didn't just happen. They didn't just appear. Kuna pali zilianzia, kuna vitu zinamaanisha, kuna Genesis. A very good example. One of the initiations ya kuingia kwa ma rock and rolls. Ukisikia watu wakisema wana sell their souls to the devil. That name selling your soul. Your soul is not necessarily kitu utatoa kwa hati yako upeane. A soul in the Greek ancient Greek culture ilikuwa anga a seal. A seal is a signature. Na most of the times, our seal walikuwa na sign signature with their own blood. Umeingia kwa hizo ma occultic journals umepatiwa kandarasi na unaenda unakuwa pierced unatolewa blood na una sign with your own blood una sign unasema kutoka leo ndakuwa na savi band ndakuwa na save devo na hizo vitu zote and by you signing signature hiyo signature seal the backward hapo hivyo inakuwa ni soul so usidani ya dimse utoa soul na peana so unakutanga kama gothic na most of the people know gothic na satanism na occultism ziko connected So gothic art ama gothic tattoos majority of them zinakuanga na spiritual significance na spiritual meaning you can't take them out na when you amezi develop no na kuanga wanazijua so kitu ya kwanza utakuta celeb fulani amepiga tattoo fulani na kasupu na every place anaenda hiyo ndo kitu anajaribu ku show wewe mwenyewe umecheki umekuja umesema nataka kupiga tattoo kama ya so and so what you don't know economy na sometimes unaweza piga tattoo na iko ni get kwa spirit na kumbuka kuna dem tulikuwa tuna pray nilikuwa tu church na akadunda na vile alidunda alikuwa amechora ki hook kwa mgongo na the first thing na symbolism ya black oak na kuanga ni death na the second symbolism na kuanga tu ni dark world kilikuwa ki, ki dark mgongo mzima na nikamuliza hii ni nini akaniambia mimi huanga fan wa rock and roll metal nini nini and it took a lot of time si kumpray na ku make sure hiyo kitu iko close because what happened is that By the time alichora kile kikitu kwa mgongo alikuwa amefungua gate kwa spirit. Usiku alikuwa anapata ma visitation anakuta kwa ma underworld ma vitu zina happen unaota na manyoka na vitu welewi juu simply uliaka simple tattoo woke fikiria ni tattoo ni art tu umeiaka tu kwa mwili unafikiria hai tu ni kujibamba kila mtu ako na tattoo some of these things are so demonic with serious covenants and serious vows and in every tattoo parlor they have a book hiyo book inakuanga na images hiyo image before we yake and au google what does it mean every tattoo has a meaning every image has a meaning either imetoka south america is stories of ma miungu zao ama imetoka kwa the gothic world ama imetoka kwa rock and roll and metal na tunajua all of them wanakuanga kwa cultic na satanism So utakuta believer amepiga ki kitat kiam kiam kono hivi na kitu na ka rosary that's not our faith utakuta hata kuna ma misalaba uchorwa unakuta msalaba msalaba fulani uka ni kama eje zake ziko a little bit magnified na hiyo msalaba inakuanga ni the zodiac system hiyo msalaba ukiweka circle ndani yake na kupatia the astrological programs inakuanga ni zodiac a system na it's not a cross it's not the cross of calvary so utakuta msia amepiga ki msalaba But yom salaba ni gothic na hata inatumika kwa vitu zinaitwa ecstasyism. Juata kwa rank ya wachawi, mchawi mwingine anaweza toa mapepo kwa sababu they operate with ranks. So kama mchawi wa cover higher rank anaweza deal na pepo za lower rank. Na that's how ukiangalia kwa movie unakutanga vampires wako na kikross wanakishika na na demons zinakuwa defeated. It's not the cross of Calvary. It is a zodiac astrological system enye na inapiango watu intelligence hiyo dimension so unakuta mkristo ameipiga anafikiri ndo kusevika na sometimes hata unaokoka ndio unapiga scripture philippians 4:18 mtu wa Mungu hakuna vile unaweza piga logo ya shetani na upige scripture ya Mungu on the same page it doesn't make sense so we don't justify we don't justify na najua kuna levels za tattoo madhangu ame die nimeandika jina yake mtoi wangu ame die 
nimepigwa imprint na vitu kaa hizo niki study some of those channels majority of those na pia ndo inaanza nga ku connect na mapiercing some of the piercings of course ziko kwa gothic world now as i said gothic is 100% occultic na occultic of course iko connected na satanism that's what akuta ma symbolism zao the horns of the devil it's a hundred percent it's occultic you know aso wana juanganiwa na do so akuna vile tunaweza import kitu juu na kani swagu ko tukuje tuilete hapa to identify na vitu without fully understanding the history and the background and so kuna watu andika jina za watu wao kuna watu andika jina za mabudau na piga tatu ya mse and all that psychologically wakati mtu ame lose mtu we heal differently kuna watu tu utaka ku feel pain and sometimes wakati hiyo reza ina go through your skin kuna hiyo pain una feel ni kama inaanza ku exchange na hii pain nyingine and so inakuwa ni hivyo na hiyo culture ya kuchora image za watu wame die ilitoka mexico and it was a point of connecting with the spirit of the dead of course kuna mtu atasema ni the love of the dead But you see the Bible says there is no connection between the living and the dead. Yes, we we love them. If I lose my parents today, did I love them? Yes, I love them. But I need to come to a place of mourning. It's very important. Na nikuja kwa place ya kukubali wame die na says warudisha na niendelee na life. But says yanza ku create some few elements like small altars zenye ni kama daily lazima ni connect nazo juu na wamii sama na wapenda. Ideally there is no connection between the living and the dead. I love them. It's good to remember them. It's good to just have a special place. We were connected emotionally. I can't run from that reality. But it's also good to allow me to heal and to accept that they are gone and they are gone and we may never meet again unless in the other life for those who believe in the afterlife. And so, kuna watu sasa wanza ku draw those images. Na sometimes utakuta you will have visitation of the dead. Madhako anakutokea huko medos. Budako anakutokea Vitu tu zinaanza kukutokea because there is a channel it's like you you are connecting with the spirit of the dead with those images and all that so i'll be very sensitive i'll be very sensitive mimi najua mapaso wamechora matatu wengine watakwambia eh najua kuna generation tunajaribu kurichia mtu wa Mungu hautairichia generation juu mechora tatu bible nasema faith cometh by hearing the word of god not drawing tatu yani and the bible nasema very clearly that there is the the power to save is in the gospel so ka unataka mbogi yokoke we ubiri gospel hakuna vile hata nikaeka dread leo ah na nichore matatu hadi no nikanikamse wa gothic na nikose kuhubiri gospel hawataokoka hiyo word hiyo inasemanga the gospel has the power haisemangi dread tatuzi kwa na power inasema hiyo gospel kama utaenda uhubiri hiyo good news whether umeva suti ama umeva dreadi as long as ni the good news una preach then it has the power to save everything has an origin and everything has a background and everything has a reason argument imekuwa nga simple ni ile uh, ni ngumu sana ukute range rover imechoro graffiti juu ya value ngumu sana ukute mse amenunua roll royce na ame pimp kanganya juu ile kitu ni expert na argument big imekuwa e body ni tempo ya holy spirit so ideally kama hii ni tempo ya god then inafaa kubebo na ile authority inafaa kubebo ni inafaa kuwa preserved kujua e body si yangu e body ni tempo ya holy spirit na kama ni tempo then inafaa kubebo na hiyo uzito wale watu andika majina na everything piercing is addictive leo doctor ameandika jina maybe a mother ama mtu tu unapenda before discover utakuwa na a little piece of art on your own body piercing is addictive kuna watu uhepa kwa tattoo pala anakumbuka kuna dem nilikutana na yeye na akaniambia pasi kila tattoo iko na story na si story fit every tattoo is a scar of a pain i've gone through every piercing is a scar of a pain i've gone through so nika discover if you don't teach who dem the power to forgive kufuago na ku deal na pain then tattoo pala itakani kama that's the place ama the piercing pala itaka kama that's the place and you are so deal na pain cuz kuna wase as pain gets in they feel like another pain has gotten out so anything it can happen atapiga tute aingia kwa pala after mengia kwa pala when that pain comes upon their body then ideally it becomes like you know that's it so the piercing is not the way out the holy spirit is the way out yendo anaweza ku heal completely the balm of gilead In look for Jesus and asema I came for the broken hearted. Akusema when you're broken hearted go to a tattoo parlor. Alisema I came for the broken hearted. 
pia kuna pia pressure kila mtu akona tattoo na pia wao nataka kuiseti before you do anything make sure you are well knowledgeable and you know what you are doing every graphical image very few of us very few of us ama very few people wanaendanga na original design of a tattoo in a tattoo pala very few watu wengi wenda wanafungulia ma books pa pa ndio hizi ma templates unasema nataka hii hiyo yenye umechagua enda ugoogle ujiulize hii art inamaanisha nini ilikuwa inatumika wapi na kazi yake ni gani and kubonga tu na iskani kama all I've done ku share anything negative kuna mtu anaweza niuliza hii kitu ni permanent nimeichora alafu jo sasa hapa si ndio nimekusikia hii kitu basi nimeichora niko na hiyo ki dark oak kwa mgongo mimi hata nimechora kinyoka ki python ki cobra kwa mguu nitadu nini kwanza hiyo hiyo image ya cobra inakuanga associated na egypt ninakuanga connected na divination spirit inaitango the numa pythona so ni vitu crazy wewe unaweza kuwa tu unataka kitu kikripi umechora ki cobra kimengedhia lakini ujui ni nini ulichora na ni deadly wasaona pitia mamambo watu wananyongwa usiku watu wanajikuta chini ya maji ma, na si chini ya ziwa wakikuwa kwa ma concert za ma gothic na ma initiation na wajui wajui kuna kimlango alifungua na kitu alikuwa anafikiria tu ni art unaingia kwa ma relationship unaachwa wewe ulichoranga kitatu kia cross kwa mguu hakuna mtu anaweza kana uli ulisha declare fate yako wewe ni mtu wa bad luck kwa relationship kila relationship unaingia ukianza tu kuongea marriage umetemwa unashindwa eh niaje ulifungua mlango ya ma bad luck kwa life yako so ideally naweza do nini mimi nitakwambia number one, ude mwenye kwanza tuli tu, alikuwa amechora ki dark oak the first thing to do to anoint na tukamwambia niaje we close this door in the spirit na by faith we made a prayer na tukasema niaje iki tu ulifanya out of ignorance ilifungua a demonic door without you knowing imekuwa iki kwa fact without you knowing but now that you are aware we close it in the spirit and she was restored kuna time a bishop walikuwa ameenda kuombea boy na huo boy alikuwa initiated kwa freemasonry na illuminati na ma bishop walikuja na zile mabling zao big big jo ada si uva mami salaba tu juu ya origin wamekuja na mami salaba zao mabling wanasema pe toka toka huo boy anacheka ndo anamwambia niaje hizi hizi vitu ni za mtaa hiyo hiyo mzalaba ni ya mtaa hii si ya church hiyo ni ya mtaa ili bidi wakati ule bishop alitoa ile msalaba that's when the demon left because alikuwa anava kitu ya yeah, juu yetu aliona kibling kia silver ugoro kinauzo pali akajiambia hii nikipiga ile tu kola ya white na kishati kia pink alafu nikipiga hii ugoro inaweza mbaya lakini hakuwa na jo origin ya hiki chain ni vitu ma gothic ni hizi zodiac ma astrological chains zenye zimekuwa simplified could define the seasons of life and na vile alitoa hivyo ndo alijua u boy ndo alikuwa anamwambia anamwambia hizi ma chain hizi ndio zinakuangaza kwetu utu tu msalabu unaona ngata wasanii wa hip hop wamepiga nini nini hizo vitu wanajua ni wanafanya hata huyo Yesu mwenye wame wame make sure ako kwa cross it is their joy wanakuanga wa communicate the death of Christ not the resurrection so you na kuanga the deadness of religion and that's why kama watavaa msalaba iko na Yesu amehangiwa watavaa msalaba yenye na kuanga inverted cross nina kuanga it's mockery to christianity na hapo bado ndo utakutanga tule tu misalaba tunakanga ni kaa tuko na shimo alafu tuko kama msalaba alafu kando nikaa ka shimo kando na nini those are not our crosses hizo ni vitu tofauti sana so what do you do look for a spiritual authority wengine mechora tattoo hata kuna msiana anaweza ajua pali ziko you know very serious na kama iko place very secretive where to after spiritual authority mostly if you're a lady not a man look for a lady Make sure you close that gate in prayer. Close that gate in prayer. Otherwise it will haunt, it will torment. Na how ta kuona jua nini na happen? Spirituality ni real. Is this story that is who ambia wase hapa? Hii kitu ni real. Hata watu wajaokoka, kuna watu wanga na ma spiritual escapades. Hii kitu ni real. Vitu umechora zingine ziko connected na mavudu altar. Wewe ujuangi wetu uliona kikitu kiroski ya black na red na kanga ni fit lakini at the end of the day ulipiga ujaijwa ni inamaanisha so just look for a man you may not rub it off but you can seal that gate in the spirit na at the end of the day utaanza kukuta peace na joy na utaanza kutembea fiti basi itakuwaaje ama pasi wenye wamechora matatu mtu wangu acha na mapasta mapasta hakuna heaven wamejenga hakuna hata achana na gospel artist hakuna heaven wamejenga fuata bible achana na sisi pia mimi nafuata bible na naweza kuwa kuna place nili hata na naweza kuwa nilichora tatu siku zangu zenye siku anajua Mungu. So sasa hii najua Mungu najua hii kitu ni noma. Siwezi toa hii ni evidence ya pale nilikuwa. 
Lakini pia najua kuna mapasi wa gopangi wa taipotre na nini na nini. And I'll say, you know, each generation, we have to mentor them and raise them in the right way. Lazima tukwe ma model wenye wanaeza fuata at the end of the day. So kuna wenye walichoranga before I save, waombe, iyo ni yao. Lakini kuna wenye saizu na kutamsea kwa na tattoo, after two years, amechora, jona jaribu kukua relevant. It's good pia. Wele, we don't follow pastors or bishops, we follow the Bible. But of course, God has given us pastors and bishops to lead us in spiritual matters. So... We can't avoid being under them. So, you only need to do take yango. Do your research. Do your research. Ink and piercing ni addictive. And it's because majority of the people want to find a way out. Before pige ink na piercing, do your research. Your ignorance on spiritual matters does not nullify the spiritual reality. Seller.